What's up, everybody? Super Phil here from Super Phil's Fortress of Solitude, and I know it's been a hot minute, but here is another unboxing. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, it's so much easier making video gameplay footage as far as <laughs> making videos go. Content like this is... Well, yeah. I try to look somewhat decent for you. And then, you know, I take the pictures and edit the video, whereas the my videos with video game footage is just record, stop, and upload. So, uh, what I've got here is a Legion of Collectors. I don't know what month it is. I've got like a year that I haven't opened up uh, with both boxes. And uh, I'm starting with this one because I'm the most concerned about it. Because, you know, I've been working, you know, some weird shifts. Uh, but you can see there's kind of gunk on this one because it got left on my porch and it was raining. So that was pretty cool. I was, uh, I guess it wasn't raining when it got left and then when I got home it had been started raining some. So, uh, a little apprehensive about it. It's been a couple months now, so it's had plenty of time to dry. So we'll see what happens, uh when we get in here but so this is most wanted so I'm assuming it is villain themed and uh, well we'll just get to it right so right on front we have a teaser uh, for the Justice League movie okay this is neat we've got a uh, Looks like a luggage tag, like you would hang on your uh, luggage, because it's got a spot for your name and address and everything, and that's Joker. Looks pretty cool. I like that. We've got our patch, which is Black Manta. What do we have here? It looks like stickers. Doesn't say it's either stickers or tattoos. Again, I'm gonna guess uh, stickers at this point, and they are villains. Fortunately, this is in a well. The sticker holding it closed got stuck to it, so it looks like we got little stickers here of a. Uh, Kind of cute. Oh, well, I like having this new camera. Uh, we got a cute Harley Quinn, Black Mana, there's Sinestro, and Deathstroke. So uh, that's that's pretty cool. Like I said, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's stickers. We've got a legion of collectors here at the bottom. Uh, I don't know. Yep. It sticks. <laughs> it's a sticker. So that's cool. Uh, already, one of my last, I guess you could call it a complaint, was that every box was the same thing, basically. Almost every box was a shirt, comic, and pop. So, seeing that, you know, they added the little luggage tag in it, the stickers on it's pretty cool. I mean, I'm not going to turn down a shirt, obviously. But, you know, the shirts kind of got old because they were always the Funko stylized shirts, which is okay because I obviously, obviously, I like Funkos, but I want a little something with more substance eventually, which this is definitely getting there. It's, uh, it says Most Wanted, and then we've got, you know, some of our, some of our big villains on there. So, we've definitely got Black Mana, Joker, Sinestro, uh, I think that's Captain Cool? Captain Cold? I, I can't remember his name, from Flash, Lex Luthor, and... Is that Hades, the God of War? From uh, Wonder Woman, I think. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And I like that it's... 
uh, it's not Funko style. Sorry. <laughs> kind of lost me there for a second. And my allergies are acting up. <laughs> um, but I really like that shirt. I like that it's, it's comic art instead of the Funko figure artwork. Uh, I like that a lot because you don't, we haven't gotten a lot of those. Here we have a Lex Luthor pop, which just looks fantastic. He's in his little battle suit. I like that a lot. And surprise, we have another pop with Bane. So we got two pops in this box, which is pretty exciting because, well I mean generally that's, that was my big draw to buy these, uh, to subscribe to them, was to get the, the pops. And the art, uh, the paint job's okay, it's a little off. Um, you probably, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but up around his head, where the black and the white meet. You can see it kind of, if I could stop shaking my hand so much, that's not going to happen. You can kind of see where it's uh, not lined up all the way. But that's a, that's a pretty small complaint. Um, as far as the paint job for Lex Luthor, it looks really good. He's got almost a metallic finish. Um... But yeah, it looks good, and that's, that is our box. Um, there was no pin. So, let me look here. We initially planned on changing out both the patch and the pin in this box, but when we saw the design of this patch, we had to include it inside the box. After all, Black Man is the most well-known villain of Aquaman. Okay. So... Uh, yeah, so I guess they decided that the patch and pen was kind of getting old, and so they uh, did the stickers. So that'll be interesting to see if they continue with that. Um, but overall, this box, I'm very happy with. Uh, I was especially concerned, like I said, because the box was wet whenever I got it. Not soaking wet. I mean, it wasn't, you know, it hadn't poured rain, but, you know, it was... I could obviously see where it had been splashing on it. I mean, you can see where it, debris has splashed on it and gotten stuck to it. Um, but like I said, I let it sit and dry for, well, several months now. <laughs> Judging by the number of other Legion of Collectors, yeah, there's, it's been several months that it's been, been drying. Um, but, yeah, man, that's... A very nice box to return to. Uh, part of it, I was getting kind of tired of the boxes. Um, because, like I said, it was just... The pop figures were nice. Um, obviously, like I said, that's the, the biggest reason to uh, subscribe. Um, but it was definitely getting, getting kind of old. Uh, so I'm very happy with this box. It's kind of renewed my interest in them, and so maybe I'll knock through these other uh, ten boxes or so for y'all and try to try to get them uploaded soon. Because, like I said, it is more work uh, creating this kind of content than it is to just hit record on my screen capturing and then upload that. Uh, but very, very good box. This villain box, especially. I mean, Lex Luthor is the biggest Superman villain, kind of, you know. Maybe not the most powerful, but definitely he's always there. And then Bane, um, obviously being a very big villain for Batman. And those are the two properties that uh, really got me interested in comics and whatnot. Um, so yeah, this, this box is pretty great. I'm very happy with it. Um, I hope you guys liked it. Like and subscribe. 
comment, whatever you feel like doing. It's cool. Give you a thumbs up, but it's not in frame. There we go. Thanks, thanks everybody. This has been Superfill from Superfill's Fortress of Solitude.